Hose on me, left and right. Glow I put him out like a light. Cool. your day a uh, Muslim guard? Um, yes, of course, one hundred percent. I mean, for me, there's like, there's like, there's like no reason. Like for me, if, if there's a girl that I really like, that I'm, what, what I'm like really into, and she turns out to be a Muslim, then yeah. قلبي نقي ذاكر لله المصطفى الصافي صلى عليه الله What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb you can call that mental freeze when these people talk too much put that shit in slow motion yeah i feel so you're a false identity created to hide one's true self. No, that's incognito. I said I'm Despacito, so come on, Marika, Papa, Sito. Oh, Marika, Papa, Sito. Droma, Karika, Papa, Sito. Why not Muslim friends and post-Ramadan Nibari? Did you know that Prophet Muhammad's name is on the throne of Allah? Peace be upon him. Adam alayhi salam asked Allah to forgive him for the sake of Muhammad. Peace be upon him. And Allah said, Oh Adam, how do you know about the name Muhammad? And Adam said, Oh my Lord, when you created me and blew your spirit into me, I looked up and I saw La ilaha illallah, Muhammad the Rasulullah, which means there's no God but Allah, and Muhammad is his messenger on the column of the throne of Allah. <laughs> and Adam said that he understood that anybody's name that is right beside Allah's must be the most beloved to Allah. And Allah said to Adam, Oh Adam, you have spoken the truth. Allah also said to Adam, He is certainly the most beloved to him of his creatures this hadith also says allah forgave him for the sake of muhammad peace be upon him prophet muhammad's name is on the throne of allah in this is a sign for people of reasons i'm like him all right shocking miracles of the quran part 12. so the word haman actually appears in the bible and in the quran okay okay here's where it gets so crazy in the bible haman is known as the assistant to the king in persia okay but in the Quran, Haman is known to be in Egypt at the time of the pharaohs and he was doing something related to construction. A lot of people think that the Quran copied the Bible since it came after it, right? And since it's the exact same name, then it was just a copying mistake. That's what they think. By the way, chapter 28, verse 38 is where it clearly says the pharaoh talking to someone named Haman and he's doing something related to construction, okay? Today, through hieroglyphics, okay? Through hilo- I can't be making this up. It tells us that there's a man named Haman and he's chief of the stone-carrying workers. People today found that out. They, today, today we figured this out. How can an illiterate man 1400 years ago know about Haman in Egypt? How? Something that's all knowing must have given him this information. It's too perfect. You're trash, guys. Tell people like it's haram to smoke, drink, date, eat pork. I don't know whatever is out there now. There's a litany of stuff, right? It's haram to do this. But have you ever heard someone say it's haram to forget, give up on Allah's mercy for you? It's haram to not believe that Allah loves you. It's haram to give up. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the 15th chapter, verse 56, وَمَنْ يَقْنُوتْ مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ the only people who give up on Allah's mercy are people who are astray. But that's why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Abdullah bin Mas'ud said the most, the most beloved verse of Quran to the Prophet Muhammad Alayhi Salatu Salam is قُلْ يَعِبَرِيَ الَّذِينَ أَسْرَفُوا عَلَىٰ أَنفُسِهِمْ لَا تَقْنَوْتُ مِنْ رَحْمَةِ اللَّهِ O people who have sinned against yourselves, don't give up on Allah's mercy. Here are the 10 greatest Muslim warriors in history. Number 10, Mehmed the Conqueror. 
Number 9, Baybar. Number 8, Salahuddin. Number 7, Tariq ibn Ziyad. Number 6, Muhammad bin Qasim. Number 5, Qutayba ibn Muslim. Number 4, Musa ibn Nusay. Number 3, Aqaba bin Nafi. Number 3, Amir ibn Alas. And number 1, Khalid ibn Walid. This is an emergency landing. We need you to stay calm. I'm um, okay, Nuna. Say it in Arabic. I don't speak Arabic. But you're Muslim. That's not how it works. I don't care how it works. This is an emergency. Do it. Okay. Um. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Ya ayyuhan nas. Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Allahu la ilaha illahu la yuqayyub. La ta'akudhu sinatu wa la naumahum. Okay, that's long. As you are not interested in paradise and have no problem in going to hell, you have no problem. You can. Stay. I just took my mom to a Japanese restaurant and I had ordered edamame for us to share and she had no clue what it was and she couldn't pronounce it to save her life and I just want to show you guys how my mom pronounces edamame Mama! Yes, Brian! So I wrote down a list of all the things we had for dinner today Yes All you have to do Read Is read it, that's it, okay? Okay The shrimp tempura roll Shrimp tempura roll <laughs> And what was the next roll you had? Philadelphia roll Philadelphia roll <laughs> Okay, what were those green things you had for the appetizer? The edamame? No, the edamame. <laughs> edamame? <laughs> edamame. So what are these called, Mama? Edamame. Edamame? <laughs> Open up your Google or your iPhone maps and search Palestine. This is what you're going to end up with. Just a bunch of random coordinations doesn't exist. Now search Israel. It's this whole area, apparently. They've completely wiped off Palestine from the world map. They control the narrative. They're telling you what they want to do to Palestine. And we're witnessing it. If you're silent, you're part of the problem. How much did you get paid to become a Muslim? I got paid a lot, so much in fact that I should be able to buy enough good deeds and a stronger man so I can get into Jannah, inshallah. I was called a terrorist for supporting Palestine. Here's the audio. God, mom, Zay, or whatever the fuck your name is, that we're fighting Hamas right now, right? You do realize that, right? That we're fighting a terrorist organization. So clearly, you're a terrorist. This isn't the first time that me or any member in my family has been called a terrorist. When we immigrated here to Canada, my dad, after the 9-11 attacks, sat us down and told us that we would most likely be targeted, especially because my older brother's name is Usama. One of the most unspoken things for Muslims here in the West is that we are a target for a lot of racism and a lot of Islamophobia. At this point, I'm used to people disregarding our humanity and trying to rewrite our identity. I'm supporting the Christian, Jewish, and Muslim Palestinians here. It has nothing to do with religion. They've been brutalized for decades, and as a Muslim, I know how it feels to be singled out and used as a scapegoat. We can make a difference if we have the courage to speak. Oh! You're again shopping. What did you get to eat? Yeah, let me see.
think I want it. I'm a hijabi girl in a harami world. Life is Islamic. It's fantastic. You can see my hair or touch me anywhere. Imagination, Jannah destination.